former Enugu North Senatorial aspirant under the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Chief Chinedu P. Eya, has reported President Muhammad Buhari's tweet threatening to shock Nigerians who are out to destroy his government to the president of the International Criminal Court, George Petrie Hovmansky in Hague, Netherlands. The United States President Joe Biden and the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson. This is coming following Buhari's tweet where he had warned of coming hard on those against his government, similar to the civil war action. This has not gone down with generality of Nigerians with heavy knocks on the president and many people reporting him to Twitter. Twitter responded by deleting the tweet, stating that it was against its policy. Aya has now taken his protest higher by penning letters to the international community. In a series of letters to the trio, made available to newsmen on Thursday with the caption, Threat of Ethnic Cleansing by President Muhammadu Buhari against the Southeasterners in Nigeria, the former Enugu senatorial aspirant cited marginalization, unfair treatment and accumulation inju accumulated pardon, injustice as reasons South Easterners feel unsafe in Nigeria. According to him, President Buhari outpost shows his you know, preparedness to deploy the instrumentalist of the nation, popularly the Nigerian army against the region, crying and yearning for equity, fairness and justice from their oppressors. Northern Nigeria, who go by the slogan Born to Rule, and who, for as long as God knows, will continue you know, to subjugate and pervert the collective interest of Indubu as we are known and addressed. I am writing the International Criminal Court, ICC, because they have the responsibility to investigate and when. You know, we are warranted to try individuals charged with the gravest crime of concern to the international community, such as genocide, you know, war crimes, crimes against humanity, and the crime of, you know, aggressions, which is the situation we have found ourselves in the hands of the present federal government led by Muhammadu Buhari. And I am writing UK on two grounds. One, because the you know conflagration or what was known as amalgamation of the southern and northern proletariat, which became Nigeria in 1914, was done by your statesman Lord Lugard, who is the author of our present predicament. And secondly, I am writing you this letter because the United Kingdom and the United States of America cannot afford to keep quiet at this trying time of South Easterners especially with the recent unguarded, you know, ravage by Mr. President. I am writing U.S. on another two major reasons. One, because of the fact that the United States is the major player in both international politics and the maintenance of world peace and order. Secondly, because of obvious bilateral relationship between Nigeria and the United States of America, which is the binding cord between both nations for many years without breaches, he added. What is your say to this that you have had? What do you think about this current situation? We have had the former Enugu North Senatory aspirant under the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Chief Chinedu P. Eya, who has reported President Muhammadu Buhari's tweet threatening to shock Nigerians who are out to destroy his government to the president of the International Crime Court. What is your say to this that you have had? This is coming, you know, following Buhari Street, where he had, you know, warned of coming hard on those against his government, similar to the Civil War action. And that has not gone down well with generality of Nigerians. It has not gone well with most of Nigerians with heavy knocks on the president and many people reported you know they reported him to twitter
and Twitter now responded by deleting the tweet, stating that it was against its policy. What is your say to this? We would like you to drop your thoughts on what has been said. But before we go, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people has to say concerning the present, you know, issue we have on ground. Cyril Umosa reacted to this and said, How many times have the ICC and international communities engaged in any fact-finding in affairs that related to the Igbo programs? We continue referring to them, but nothing is done. What is your say to what Sari have said concerning the present situation? That how many times have the ICC and the international community engaged in any, you know, fact finding in affairs, you know, that is related to the Igbo programs? We continue, you know, to refer to them, but nothing is being done, even when we refer to them. What is your say to this? What can you see to this present situation? We would like you to drop your thoughts. Let's move forward and see what other people's reactions is on this. Adeliki Shadrach also reacted to this and said, I don't think Buhari will be saved after his tenure. The best thing is to leave this country or else I had, you know, I have said my own. That is what Adeliki Shadrach have said, that I don't think the president, you know, will be saved after his tenure. The best thing is to leave this country or else I don't talk my own no because nobody knows who we attack him because what he has done has you know aggrieved so many Nigerians and so many people have planned for him. They are just waiting for him to be impeached, for him to resign, you know, honorary blue or be impeached, or probably his tenure will soon be completed. People you know are expecting him to leave the office and later perhaps attack him. That is why Adeleke Shadrach has said, I don't think Buhari will be safe after this tenure. After his tenure has been completed, I don't think he will be safe. So the best thing I think for him now is to leave the country or else anything that happens is at his own risk. That is what Adeleke Shadrach has said. What is your thought on this? Do you think such a thing can, you know, could really happen even after the tenure has been completed? Can he still be, you know... Can people still go after him? Can you still run after him even when he's not in power again to get him? Well, we live to know about that. Let's move on and see what other people's reactions is on what has been said. Pastor Damian reacted to this and said, Can this solve the problem? Well, nevertheless, let God be the judge of that. We have had so many reactions and comments from people. We have had... So many people have reacted to what has been said about the Buhari, you know, threat to the southeast. We have seen so many people have reacted to it. We would like you also to drop your thoughts on what has been said. We would like to see your own point of view via the comment section. But don't forget that the former Enogo not senatorial aspirant under the People's Democratic Party (PDP) Chief Chinedu P. Eya has reported President Muhammadu Buhari Street threatening to shock Nigerians who are out to destroy his government to the president of the you know international criminal court george patry hopmansky in hague netherland the united states president joe biden and the uk prime minister boris johnson would like you to drop your thoughts on this thank you guys for listening do subscribe to this channel if you have not and i'll see you on the other news bye for now